All right, Daniel, talk to us a little bit about the evaluation process you guys do here at the PDP. Um, just some baseline testing that you start with that people could do at home, they could come here and get it done. Uh, but talk us through what the baseline testing is. Sure, yeah, you wouldn't have to be here at Sea Island. We, we obviously would be more than happy to help you. But, um, you know, what, what we do here on the evaluation side, obviously run through some standardized uh, track man information. Um, but more importantly, there's, there's about four fitness assessments that we do. So we do a broad jump, we do a vertical jump, we do a, a kneeling overhead pass, and we do a sit up and throw. Uh, so as far as trying to create that imagery for that college coach, um, about what type of athlete this is, in addition to that, over multiple years. So I think at home, if you guys are um, you know, kind of tracking this type of information over a span of time, you can really start to paint a picture for a college coach about what type of athlete you've kind of grown into. And so that's what we do here on the fitness side. You know, obviously we're taking some static measurements about lead, lead arm length, total height, body weight. Uh, there's a lot of correlations to club head speed with, with body weight, lead arm length. Uh, and actually overhead kneeling pass and, and vertical jump are kind of the big determiners for speed. So um, you could do those things at home. You could put them together on a report and uh, attach that as a part of your resume. Uh, and I'm sure you're seeing that from other college coaches as these recruiting rules change. They're going to need more information uh, about what type of athlete they're recruiting, uh, not just the scores that they have and, and all the other athletes. Coaches love data, right? So when you can give them uh, exact measurements or ways that you're improving and getting better and showing that the work you're doing at home is leading to better results. Um, that's that's the stuff that coaches want to see. Um, what are some things that you know? I think it's good to put it in perspective as well of how you're going to develop over time, sure. right? So you're not going to be the same at 13 versus 16, sure. but also how do you measure? yourself against other kids that are your age. You know, and I think that's a really important part of what we do in this program is help players uh, understand where they're at in the baseline uh, based off of what year they are, what graduation year they are, where do they stack up against the other uh, 2020, 2021s, and you know, what aspects do they need to get better at? I mean, that's really what the evaluation process is about. Um, so yeah, just painting that clear image of not just what your baseline is in your hometown, but really what it is regionally and what it is nationally, and that really determines where you're to be able to play college golf at. So in summary, I think one of the, the key things that we, we've learned from this is you have to have some baseline measurements of, of where you're at physically, yep. where you're at uh, with your golf game, uh, what type of, you know, what part of the year you're in and having a great plan for each part of the year that you're going to attack. Um, so if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us, check out our websites, follow us on social media. Uh, thanks for watching.